Okay, here's a second video on how I use the journals that I make or receive in swaps. These books that you see here were part of swaps that I was involved with. So I'll start with those. Um, I use these as journals. I write in them daily. And uh, the, these two were both made by Tina Cockrell. I had two swaps with her. This was the Vintage Lady and this is Vintage Sewing. And so I write. She had a lot of space. I love these books. She did an awesome job. And there's a lot of space for writing. And um, so I wrote on... I did a lot of writing in this. So there's that one and then the same with this one. And as I said in the first book, it's really nice to actually use these because you get up and up close and personal with the details of the book that either you make for yourself or that someone lovingly makes. Uh, this is a piece of muslin with this really neat safety pin in it. And so, and as I said in the other one, I use the cards for writing um, special notes or scripture verses or details about current events or the weather, things like that. This one was made by Jill Robertson and uh, this was for Newsworthy, yeah, the Newsworthy swap. And this had a lot of fun details in it too, so I really enjoyed writing in this one. I enjoy writing in them all. So she even uh, has a pattern in here. So did she include this card? Yeah, she included this card and I I wrote about a lunch I had with a friend in there. So that one was used as a journal. This one was from the book, all about books swap. And I don't use this as a journal. This was made by my friend um, Susan Broussard. She's my friend now <laughs> because we did this swap and now we, we chat with each other and she's a great encouragement to me. And I'm friends with uh, Jill also, we do a lot of chatting. So it's nice I've been making friends on Facebook. But this book I use, a, I love books, and so I actually put quotes in here. She, now she put a lot of really nice book quotes in here, and I'm just continuing that. Um, this is a quote that I got out of a old Victoria magazine from the 80s, um, 80, 90s probably. They used to have a lot of book quotes in their articles, and I saved some of them out, and I found them. So um, this is a quote from The Last of the Mohicans. So I went through and just glued those quotes in this book, and I've got more to stick in. I just have to make the time to do it. All of these, I believe all of these were cut out from Victoria Magazine. I used to get them in the 90s, and I had a lot of images from those magazines and quotes and the magazine isn't the same anymore, but uh, I glued this, these pictures in of the Harry Potter series. So this book will be used for book quotes, and I am using it, and I love it. And she made this, this isn't stitched in binding, she altered the book. She took out some of the pages and then altered the pages that remained. She put a lot of work into this, and I love it. So... I'm looking forward to getting back in it and gluing more quotes in it. And then another swap that I did um, was for Hollywood Icon Junk Journal. And I made one for myself, and then I swapped one. So she, she got a book that looked like this. Um, and this one, these I'm not using as journals. I am so sorry, I'm trying to remember who who made this. She didn't sign it. I should know it. Let me see. Oh, Susan Staley. So that one went to Wyoming. This book that I made went to Wyoming. 
So this is an awesome book made by Susan Staley, and I love it. And I didn't write anything in it yet, but I have the list of last year's Oscar winners, nominees and winners, and I have photos and things that are going to go in here. And, uh, of course, I'll keep track of this year's winners to put in there also. So that's what that's going to be used for. And this one that I made is... Um, I have a list here of genres and categories I want to include. So I'm going to write about my favorite actors, my favorite movies in different genres, and and things like that. I just haven't used either of them, but that that's my plan for them. Here's one that I made in the style of the Remains of the Day journals out of cloth. And uh, it has a lot of pages. It has four signatures, but they're good size. And so... Uh, Actually, I used it for about three months. <clears throat> but, again, just wrote on any page that could be written on. This, this page is even a old record album cover. I, I peeled it to make it thinner and then backed it with paper. From the soundtrack of Camelot, one of my favorite movies. So you can see what they look like when they're actually used. And this one was fun to write in because there's so much stuff, so many little details and things in it. So it was really fun to go through it and actually use it. The S&H green stamp books that weren't didn't have stamps in them, I wrote on them. Oops, I didn't write on the very back. So there's that one. And these other books, I don't need to go through them all, but this is a vintage lady book and a vintage sewing book that I made for myself. This is the one I'm currently writing in. This is a lot of fun. This was made with a lot of vintage children's books. And so I'm really enjoying um, seeing all these vintage images in here as I go through and write in it. And uh, this... This, I think, is the very first book I made with the stitched-in binding. And it has four, four signatures. I followed Mary Ann Kensington's tutorial to make this book. And so it's all written in. Now, this one is made from a vintage book that I actually owned when I was a kid, and I got it from my great aunt Lita's estate sale after she passed away. So it's a pretty old book and I loved the, the book fell apart and I love the images that were on the front and back covers. So I made it into this book and I use this book um, for about books. I write down the books that I read. This says, I started it in January of 2016. So it has the books that I read in January and the books I read in February, and so forth. And then I write quotes from the books and include them throughout. So as I said, I started it last January, and I went a little bit more than halfway by the end of the year. So this will last me hopefully till the end of this year, or almost to the end of this year, and then I'll have to make another one. That's another way that I use my, my books. This one I just made a video on. It's one I just recently made. And um, it's I just made it because I wanted, I love the design of it. I was inspired by Paula. And um, I just like the idea of putting all the little tidbits in here, just collaging stuff on pages. And I needed to have a purpose for it. I didn't want to make the book just... To make it so I'm using it as a list book just random lists and I'm in here is a, a list of lists for when I don't have any ideas I can look at that and and make a list for the day sometimes it's lists of things I want to do sometimes it's a list of uh, things I'm grateful for or whatever and then here's a big blue book I just showed that one this one has six signatures I just made a video of this one. I don't think I posted it yet, though. 
but this one really doesn't have a purpose except to glue things down in. I do a little bit of writing in it, but not a lot. But mostly it's just meditative and therapeutic and I just like to arrange things and glue things down. So this is a big fat glue book. And I think that's about it. Um, I have many journals that I have made and others have made that I haven't started using yet. So I won't run out of journals very soon. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing this and that it gave you some ideas for how you can use a journal. Um, I do have one that I didn't find and show you, but I used it as a gratitude journal. So every day I wrote five things I was grateful for. I would like to know what you use your journals for. So you can leave comments or do your own videos and show us all what you do. Thank you so much for watching.